Morning world. Um, I've had a few requests asking us what's in the box. Um, those of you who be watching the channel for a while know that we rear and look after a herd of Dexter cattle. Uh, something we've been doing since 1992 I think it is. Um, so we don't show our cattle, I breed them and keep them for meat. That's what they're there to produce meat. Um, and eat my grass, something else eat the grass. So I thought I'd do a short video on what's in the box. My pork feel nice and firm for you, dear. It's fat. <laughs> <laughs> Grab it! Grab it! Yeah, not fly me. I'm spotlessly clean, everything's squeaks. <laughs> So before I go into the actual contents of the box, I'll run through the process of how we do this. Um, all the calves are born and bred here on the farm. Uh, up until maybe two years ago, um, all animals went to slaughter, steers this was, went to slaughter um, at or just before 30 months of age. And that's down to rules and regulations, food health and everything else where um, 30 months was the cutoff point where up to that time there was no chance of um, getting mad cow disease or something like that. Uh, that. That now has disappeared. That well, I haven't heard of a mad cow. Well, yeah, I've actually heard of a couple of mad cows, but they're not out in the field. Anyway, so, um, so the BSE thing is kind of, I'd like to think, in the past and they're not going to happen so you can now do uh, animals over 30 months of age uh, it's not easy but it's doable now a dexter is an old breed animal and we try and do our animals as natural as possible they eat grass they eat our hedges and they eat grass uh, we don't give them any um, processed proteins we don't use antibiotics uh, we don't use steroids, don't use any growth enhancers, or if it is, everything is completely natural. The only thing that's unnatural is what falls out the sky. There's not much I can do about that. Uh, the only time we use a bought-in bought feed stuff is I use a bit of my neighbour's uh, cattle course mix for the young stock when we wean them, and that is partially to keep them happy, stops them bellowing. It also helps us to tame them. So the animals become a lot tamer because they see the bucket, they see me, and they, well, they look forward to seeing me in the mornings. So um, anyway, going back to the beef pack. So now we are doing our animals at nearer 40 months. Now the reason for that is, I don't believe you can finish an old breed animal like a Dexter naturally in 30 months. You, you can't do it. They will not put on the bulk and the size and everything else they need to actually produce what we would call a quality product. So we keep ours between 40 and 48 months. And that's not too bad for us because we've got a local abattoir and butcher who will, who will do that for us. Um, there are more expenses with doing an older animal because basically all the bones have got to be taken out, the spinal cord's got to be taken out. Um, and I believe that all the waste from that animal has to go in a special bin and be painted blue or something just because it's over 30 months of age. So there is a cost implication in doing the older animal, but what that costs us to do, in comparison to the actual size of the animal we get back, the portion size and the quality. Uh, so we're now producing um, beef packs with and uh, steaks and joints with a lot more marbling in it, um, which to me is where all the flavour is. When the fat in the meat is where the flavour is. So the packs you get from us now are quite likely going to be an animal that is over 40 months of age. Uh, we hang them for a minimum of 28 days. This one was actually hung, I think, for 32 days. Um, and that is also part of the process. You cannot get decent beef if you don't. It has to be hung. Uh, anything you buy in the supermarket that is red raw, running in water, wastes of time. Because by the time you get it out of the oven, it's half the size of when you put it in. Whereas one of these joints, you may lose five perhaps most 10% of the size of the thing 
through um, shrinkage. Um, they don't shrink because all the water has basically been evaporated out of the animal while it was in the fridge. Anyway, so what's in the box? I'll show you. So this is how the boxes come to us. They were come to the, from the butcher and they're marked with a weight. So we know what's into the box weight. We sell our beef at £12.50 a kilo for the box. So 12.6 kilo obviously came at £157. If I can get the lid off. What's in the box? Here we go. So, <coughs> all our offcuts, trimmings, well not all the trimmings, because a lot of the trimmings has to be thrown away actually, is minced. So each pack will have a fair few packs, this is lovely this stuff, of mince. So you will also find rump steaks. They are crappy too. When I get to eat them. What we got here? Well this is um, Two little fillet steaks. Bear in mind, this is a small animal. Okay, so uh, compared to the last two beasts we took in, this one is actually quite a small one. So this is a smallish pack. I think the last packs. <coughs> Excuse me. Breakfast catching me through. The last uh, two animals came in sort of twenty kilo packs, and this is twelve. So it is a small animal. So the fillets on this are quite small. Don't fight over them. Back to the box. What else we got in here? We have got diced casserole beef. What I used to call steward steak. And beef skirt. Again, I would have called that was steward steak, a bit steak, but uh, the butcher's got different names for things. So braising steak. I'd still put that in the stew. Got here. Two more sirloin steaks. So if you look at that, it's vacuum packed. You can see the marbling in there. Um, on, a, on an animal that was under 30 months of age, you probably wouldn't have this amount of marbling. So, and that is, like I said, that's where the flavour is. Shin beef, actually one of my favourites. Shin beef is. One of the cheaper cuts on any animal, but do you know what? If you're working on a budget, um, this is actually one of the most flavoursome bits of animal you can have, and it's cheap in comparison to that. So yeah, shin beef, lovely casserole out of that. What we got here? We have got a piece of silver side. You can't really see the marbling in there because of the way that it's packed, but in that joint there, there is actually some marbling in the beef as well. So, can't stress how important that is. Got some flavour. Packs always get a bit of heart, so a little bit of ox heart in there. Dice that up, put that in your casserole as well. Adds a bit of texture and flavour, I think. So, ox liver. Not everybody likes liver, but again, diced up, bit of onion. Now we have got the brisket. So, small joint, probably enough to feed three people there, with a bit of leftovers for tomorrow's curry. And top side. So, cracking bit of meat that is. So, if you look at the colour of this, and note the colour of this, if you're buying beef, this is the colour you want it. You don't want it bright red and ringing wet. You want it dark. Almost getting there now. So we have got another piece of brisket. So another little roasting joint. I like brisket. Uh, another piece of top side. So again, marbling doesn't show up very well through here, but there is actually marbling through all of this. Um, this was this animal, I think, was only about. 36 months, so he was a little bit younger, but uh, we needed to fill orders. So, unfortunately, it's slightly younger animal. And last, we have got a piece of chuck roast. So, I can't actually remember which bit is chuck roast, but 
I do remember the last bit we had, I thoroughly enjoyed. So basically that's what's in a pack. This is only a small pack because it's a small animal. Um, this one is actually going to my parents. So it's a freebie, because I'm so kind. Um, but literally, if you buy a pack off of Bradley Farm, pretty much this is what you get. Um, it's just if it's a bigger animal, bigger pack. And it costs more. So, but yeah, but, um, again, I won't stress, if you look at the colour of this, you go to your cheap meat wagon at the supermarket or, you know, at, at the auctions or, uh, um, well, wherever you go. So you'll go places and you'll find the, the lorry selling your meat on the side of it and it seems really cheap, not that colour. So that's one of the reasons it's cheap. It costs me £3 a day. To hang an animal so this chap was hanging for 35 well 33 days so basically it cost me a hundred pounds just to get him to this color and that hundred pounds as far as I'm concerned is money well spent because you end up producing a quality item so there you go that's the lid that's how it comes um, it's all vacuum packed, like I said, so it will keep out of the fridge for a day or so. You want to get it in the freezer, um, but if you ever buy, you buy one of these, you know, have a steak night, first night, because it's never going to be better than it is now. So there you go. That is what's the contents of our beef packs. I was going to get Abby to give me a hand um, displaying this, so she could have done you know, the, the hand, you know, modelling, but um, she had to run away. Probably still guilty about stealing my breakfast. So there's a little story there. I'll tell you the story, right? So she comes here in the mornings, brings her dog in before she goes to work, and uh, sometimes she has breakfast with us. And uh, this is actually yesterday, not today. <coughs> so she comes in and she uh, announces, let's a bit, she announces she's going to have breakfast. Now I happen to know that the cornflakes were getting a bit thin in the cupboard. So I went and grabbed my bowl quick and said, right, well, you're not having the cornflakes because I'm having them. Uh, which ended up in a wrestling match, her on the floor giggling because I had very cold hands. Um, and then me going back to the cupboard and quickly emptying the contents of the cornflakes into my bowl, I thought. Uh, until she said, thank you very much, Dad. You've just put all the cereals in my bowl, as in her bowl. So she probably took my cereals that I'd accidentally put in her bowl, covered in milk and her stuff. And I had what was left in the bottom of the thing, which was like the crumbs. So which even to this morning, she still thinks it's hilarious that, you know, I was so adamant that I was having the cereals and she wasn't having it and I was going to get it first. I actually filled her bowl. Kids. So they are. Contents of the box, now you know.